Hello everyone. A warm welcome to the today's webinar class. I hope you all are fine. So today the topic is effortless GST e-returns simplify online and offline filing with Busy. So how we can manage the GST return filing along with Busy software very seamlessly. Today we are going to discuss this. So please be active in the session. If you have any questions or any kind of queries, you should put message in the chat box. I am ready to answer the questions. So thank you so much once again to joining this webinar. Let us begin. As you seen on my screen, this will be the data total registered taxpayers in India. So data is saying that in India, regular taxpayers was 1 crore 27 lakh 90,865. Then composition taxpayer count was 15 lakh 9,790. And input service distributors are 8,042. Similarly, tax collector at source is 21,166. And the non-resident taxpayers are 31. And OIDAR is 606. UIN holders was 2307. So this many taxpayers are registered with our taxation system in India. So so why we are uh, giving this data because so just for our knowledge, that's it. So if the, anybody there using our BC software, then end of the month, he will be able to file their GST return very simplest methods. We have given five types of methods in the BC software. So let us discuss it later. If you are an accountant, tax fractioner or business owner and you are facing many problems in filing GST returns. You may face this problem. If you're getting any kind of problems like uh, HSN related error, GSTN related error or document related error, any kind, anything it might be. So how to resolve these errors if you are a busy customer? So that I'm going to teach you now. So don't worry, we have a solution, most powerful solution it is for you. The challenges sometimes you may face related to this GST return was status of party's GST number. So one party, example XYZ party, he have one GSTN number. Sometime if you purchasing some goods from them and uh, sometime you are selling goods to them. So in that point of time, the GSTN number is very important. Without GSTN number, if you sold any kind of goods, that then that sale is so treated as unregistered sale. So in the purchase case, if you purchasing any goods from any of the vendor, if the GSTN number is valid, then we will get the actual ITC. If it is not available, the GSTN number is incorrect or sometime it is suspended. In that point of time, we can't able to get the ITC benefit. So due to overcome this kind of situations, we will have provided one specific utility in busy software. That is using this utility, you can easily validate your customer's GSTN numbers that is within one single click. Within one single click, you can able to validate entire customer's GSTN number. If any of the GSTN number is invalid or whether it is suspended or canceled, you might be know that which one is suspended. So that utility is very well useful for all of us because end of the day, you can you can easily do this, run this utility and, and you can identify that. The solution we have here, GSTN validation, that is multiple parties, GSTN validation that is comes in a display section that I can show you here under the transaction section GST miscellaneous utilities in that validate GSTN number online and then you can multiple GSTN number you can select and select after that load the data the customer names will be displayed like this if you needed any few customers then you can select that customer names otherwise we have a group wise sorting group wise you can select the party names then after that you can validate it here we have a validation option if we did the validation if any gstn number is invalid then that validation status will be shown here currently this many uh, gstn number i has validated in that few of them are cancelled so this one you can see that that will be cancelled and uh, this gstn number is also cancelled on the uh, party side Sometimes this problem is also maybe pays you like this. That is when, when we purchasing the uh, item from them, then the GSTN number is active. Later on, the firm has been closed. So within 15 days, the firm has been closed. Then it, it will be difficult to understand the understand that whether this GSTN number is cancelled or not. But if you're doing this validation by yourself, then easily you can able to capture the detail. This utility is really good. It could help. So the next point, where 
status of hsn and ssc code of the items is the items hsn ssc code is correct in gst the hsn is also very important as well as ssc code also so if you are having multiple products in your uh, database then within one single click itself you can able to check all the hsn codes either it is correct or not so no need to do the manual uh, validation by one by one so ju you just have to click that button so the software can help you to identify those incorrect hsn and ssc codes to do that so here under this uh, transaction menu that uh, gst miscellaneous utilities that menu is available if you browse the menu then validate hsn online this menu is get you can uh, select the, that option and you can choose this multiple hsn option then after if you load the data how many items that that are created by yourself all the items list will be come like this so beside on that the hsn code is also visible uh, you can uh, select all items otherwise you can select by group also then you should press this validate button so it will take time sometime because if you have a large number of items or products in your database sometime it will take more time uh, if you have few items then it will take hardly fraction of second it will take validate so now you can see the hsn has been validated successfully now if any hsn code is invalid you can just use this sorting option you should get the invalid hsn code very first the first three lines you can see the invalid hsn code then how to correct this to correct this hsn codes you have the option of search hsn and ssc code option either you can search the hsn code by code number like this so any uh, minimum two character of hsn code you can enter and validate it or search it then after you will be getting this type of hsn related informations if you don't know the code number you can use this searching of hsn ssc by description here you just have to enter the product name or any kind of uh, product name you can enter then after you can search this then those related hsn code will will be comes into the screen so the searching as well as validating both the provision or both the utility available here in busy so this can help you a lot to understand and identify the um, uh, wrong or incorrect hsn codes in your data some other challenges that you may face that uh, are you invoicing uh, creator if your company gstn number is falls under the invoicing so the turnover is more than 5 crore rupees then the invoicing is mandatory so in that point of time in any bill if you are not generated invoicing so then that that report will be comes into the busy because in which bill you have not not generated invoicing that details will be comes into this report that report is called as invoice audit report so the invoice e invoice audit report will tell us uh, if any missing bills had to be uh, not generated e invoice but to identify this you need to use this transactions gst miscellaneous utility e way bill invoicing management in that generate or print e way bill here and next is generate or print e invoicing and generate or print e way bill and e invoicing and fourth option is e way bill audit report similarly invoicing audit report these two audit report will help us to help us to uh, identify the missing invoicing bills so to view this you can specify the exact date range from when to from date and ending date you can specify the report will come like this here you can see that the party name gst number taxable value bill amount everything is showing like this these many bills i am not generated e way bill so the software can tell us this information similarly for e invoicing also we can check the invoicing information that should be come like this specify the date range from to date then you can load the report here you can see that this many invoices i have raised but these bills its uh, e invoicing is not generated so to generate the invoicing or e way bill in bulk method you can go for this option generate or print e way bill or generate or print e invoicing then after you can use this automatic option so then after you can specify the from date and to date load the bills select all generate within one single click because busy busy can have the uh, utility to generate the e way bill or invoicing in bulk manner so that we will do it here all right so using this audit report we can able to identify the missing e way bill or e invoicing details so the next challenges that uh, user he can face that that is or all the transactions are correct or not he having some doubts 
because they are entered the transaction but he might be get confused that whether he, it is correct or not so to uh, check this kind of uh, discrepancies you can use the error checking tools before going to upload our gstr1 data or gstr3b data then we should get this error checking tool so it can help to uh, identify those errors human errors done by us so it can help you to solve that so to do that you can use this error checking tool within fraction of second we can able to understand those errors with the descriptions so let me show you how to do this first thing you can go to the display and uh, select the gstr1 e return and direct upload if you are doing select the direct upload and this one is called as error checking tool in this error checking tool there are uh, four options are there one is errors in our errors in our data that is data entry error in our transactions and errors in our hsn side hsn summary if any hsn code is invalid or if any uqc code is also invalid invalid so that details will be shown here currently there is no any error but if any error it might be shown like this so in transaction side there will be one error the error description you can read you have entered a local transaction for a party belonging to other state and the gstr1 uh, report it is party name gst number everything is showing here if i press the enter button then that should be opened so here what i did the party is belongs to outside state he was outside state party but i have selected local sale type you can see the state this party is belongs to punjab but i have selected the sale type as local so that is the reason the error is coming so let me change this tax type once again igst multi rate and apply the gst then you can resave the bill this type of error description uh, will comes into the busy after reading this error description easily you can understand the our error now the error has been eliminated so later on you can go ahead and file your gstr1 easily with busy so this is how the thing will work after seeing this uh, uh, errors right once you cleared that error you can proceed and direct upload to the direct upload all right now continue the next point that is uh, exactly uh, how the gst return features will help you uh, help for the busy users that point we will discuss now the busy can have different types of filing provisions one is direct upload easily you can specify the portal username in busy then after that directly upload your gstr1 filing into the portal using the uh, otp number so that is called as direct upload then after the second method is json method so most of the cases uh, the json can help you to upload your gstr1 json it's a uh, government uh, required format for the for the uploading so you can export the file of json then you can import that or upload that into the gst department portal then the filing has been completed and the third point here gstr1 using csv file csv it's a similar to excel file you can export the, the that file and upload that file into the government offline utility that i can show you by practically so after import the, that file into the offline utility you will be getting one json file that json file you should upload that into the government portal and the fourth method is gstr1 uploading the gstr1 using the as per government template the government template means this template is given by gst department and it should be available in gst departmental portal or else you can download it from www.busy.in website so after the downloading you can extract the file in this template then this template you can upload that into the uh, this template can help to generate the json the json file after that you should up, uh, upload that into the government portal and the fifth method is plain excel the plain excel it is a simple excel file uh, no any uh, uh, specific no any uh, json or nothing it's a simple excel file you can extract the excel file and you can use that excel file to upload your gstr1 by by copy paste method so that is how this thing will work and uh, now we will see uh, how to do this direct uploading in busy okay you can use the direct uploading in busy uh, with our standard or saffron and enterprise and emerald versions editions so not in basic model or blue model to so, uh, how it is work let me show you so here i can here i can open the software so doing this uh, or using this direct uploading you has to specify the portal username in the gst and vat the gst and vat 
uh, settings you can specify the portal username so if you uh, not specify this uh, portal username then we can't able to upload this return so now this is very important after doing this you can come to the display section gst reports in this gst returns select the relevant gst return that is if you are a quarterly return monthly payment holder then you should upload your iff return monthly so that iff return filing also available with the direct upload method otherwise you can go for gstr1 return if you are a, if you are a regular taxpayer and monthly payer monthly taxpayer then you should go for this gstr1 e return and you can see there will be five buttons available so let me select this direct upload method then after selecting this i'll be getting this type of screen here you should select relevant voucher series and specify the from and ending date generally the from and ending date will be the first april to 30 april 30th of april or first may to 31st of may like this only you should specify the exact date and account to be shown by as name wise or alias wise or print name wise so which name do you need it you can select that account names alias wise or name wise then if you if you wants to skip the adjacent summary then here you can make this one as yes if it is dot one you can make this one as no similarly document summary if you want to skip you can make this one as yes all right sometime you might be you might be facing some problem that is uh, after extracting the file or after uploading the file the hsn details cannot be comes into the portal due to this reason so if you are make this one as yes then hsn summary details cannot be comes into the gstr1 report this that is why you can uh, please note these points and after that there will be some other filters available exempted non-registered zero rated entries in taxable invoice separately if you want to show you can do this one as yes and the taxable amount and tax amount as a sale value or invoice value if you want to uh, treat then you can make this one as yes and the place of supply that is you are given in the billing shipping detail window that should be treated as a shipping uh, place of supply then you should make this one as yes there are different types of yes or no options available even you can have a special character removal option the if any special character that you are using in your data entry time that should be eliminated uh, that the character should be eliminated because the portal it can't allows you to upload these gen characters in the portal so that is why we will give us this provision and uh, iff return the iff return uh, that, that doing by the quarterly return monthly payment holders and every month the iff return he will upload in this iff return the b2b transaction details will be there how many b2b transaction he has done that details will be included in this iff return monthly if they are uploading their iff return means then after quarterly if they are uploading gstr1 uh, it, it contains the gstr1 it contains the b2c informations in that point of time earlier already they uploaded their iff return in that b2b is already uploaded so again they don't want to upload their gstr1 uh, don't want to upload their b2b details so that you, you can skip the iff data here for month one or month two or any any month you can select and skip the months both also then after you can uh, skip the e invoices if you don't want the e invoices information you can skip this also this is something like one kind of filters so that is uh, uh, as per your requirement how you want you can choose the relevant filters then use this error checking tool if any errors is there then you can clear those errors in hsn side transaction side or any any uh, document side etc once it is done after that you can proceed once you proceed the uh, proceed this step then you should get one otp number in your registered mobile number that registered mobile number uh, you can see the otp and enter it here so after this the software can upload your data into the gstn portal it cannot submit it it only upload your data the submission has to, has been done by your side manually first you has to compare those datas how much invoices has been uploaded how much is not uploaded that you should compare along with the software data if everything is okay then you should submit it so this is how the gstr1 e return functionality uh, or utility you can say that will be working busy the next point i am going to teach you that is uh, json file uploading uh, to use this function you can go for this method just directly go to the display and browse the gst reports in that the gst returns file option will be available 
here you can select this gstr1 e return select the json file and then you need to specify the relevant month for tier 4 and uh, similarly you can select the uh, required filters and specify the folder path where you want to generate it let me select desktop path and give the desktop path or any other path and proceed the json creation here also you should check the errors if any errors will be found you need to uh, correct those errors and then after you can proceed the json generation once it is generated the file will be generated like this you can see the file name 29 a this is the gstn number and underscore the month underscore the year and underscore the gstr1 and it's a busy wt underscore busy it's a name of the software so this is how the json file should be generated so from busy next you can upload this file into the gst departmental portal with your login credential using the prepare offline method to prepare offline method you can upload this file then the data will be uploaded the third method here we are given this csv file uh, extract so you using this uh, function first you need to go to display option gst reports in that gst returns so select the gstr1 e return then you select the csv file and specify the date range and then after you can select the relevant filters next you can select the path of the destination file that is where you want to extract this file i selected here desktop then you press ok next you can check the errors if any errors means you can correct those errors uh, after click this proceed option then in our desktop screen there will be 11 file has been generated totally 11 section file you can see the files here this many files has been generated so this many files has been generated section here you can see i entered this many transactions in busy all the transactions will extracted in this b2b supported file now what we will do we will create a json file using this csv file to do that we can install one government offline tool this government gst offline tool that is available in gst department portal you should download it and install in your computer so then after if you open this uh, gst offline tool application then it will be shown like this here you have to specify your gstn number the gstn number let me copy this gst number from my company itself administration configuration here i just copy my gstn number this will be the gstn number copy this and paste it here that is when you click this new option new option then it is asking you to enter the gstn number paste it here then after you can select gstr1 or iff select the financial year select the month september month if you are a scz taxpayer then you can select here yes otherwise no otherwise no if you are a quarterly filer then you can select here yes otherwise no then is your aggregate turnover is greater than 5 crore you can select yes otherwise no so then you can proceed now it is asking you to upload the files and here you will be have one more option import files you can select this one also import files and select the section name import csv import csv then you should go to that path of the file notepad and in this the b2b file you should select the b2b file this one select the file and you can click the yes button now the message you can get uh, appeared here success the message will appear success once it is done you should press this view summary now you can see the section name and number of invoices is 67 total number of central tax amount is 24000 and state and duty tax amount is this much integrated tax amount is this much s is there means it will come here and if you press this uh, it to be s is at this one if you press then you can able to uh, view all the data all right the invoices are loading you can see here uh, all the invoices are loaded okay. if you went back you can scroll down just you scroll down if you want to delete the data means you can have option of delete data if any mistakes or anything it might be wrong then you should press this delete button otherwise you can then you generate the json file so this will be the json format you can see the file name written 692024r1 this will be the file name you can click this file then json file will be saved this is how you can generate the json file using the csv format so now the json file has been generated so you, here you can see the json file open the folder this will be the json file this file you can upload it into the gst portal 
right next we will move our next uh, method that is as per the government template method using the government template how we can upload our gstr1 sometimes the gstr uh, uh, automatic uploading is not takes place then we suggest you to go for this as per government template method otherwise most, few of them are using basic or blue models here they can go for this method because the basic model or blue model it can't support the automatic uploading utility in busy now let me show you to download the government template uh, templates you should use the gst department portal otherwise directly you can go to busy official website busy.in www.busy.in in that uh, you have a uh, templates so now the portal i was opening website is www.busy.in in that download menu is the resources menu in that download menu select the download menu if you scroll down then here the gst template is uploaded you can download the gst templates directly by here by using this click to download button all the templates are there gstr1 gstr3b all the templates are there even the eweable invoicing templates also there so you can download the templates directly from there when you save it now the template has been saved now let me move to the software again then after i'll be show you how to extract the file in the template to do that you can again go to that gst reports browse the gst reports in that gst returns select the gstr1 e return and then you select the as per government template option then after you will be getting this type of screen so earlier we are getting this screen the same screen you are getting again here you have a date specifying option select the date from date to date let me enter only one date here only one day 14 2024 14 2024 then you should select the template path i was saved that template in my desktop so that i can select here desktop then you can specify the destination file path that is where you want to create it let me select it here that is my desktop i need to select this uh, notepad i want to create this file in my notepad folder that will be the folder name once it is done if you press the okay again the error checking tool will be appear here you should check the errors if no er errors if i started to extract it then it will take time sometime if your data is heavy data then it is take hardly 2 3 5 minutes so you need to wait so now the extraction is going on so once the file uh, has been extracted then the file will be stored in the destination path as you seen here now the file has been come like this you can see the file gst work excel workbook in this workbook file the data will be extracted so it uh, using the government template how we can generate the json file in this way you can generate and the next option is plain excel the plain excel it is simil, uh, simple on excel file uh, but you can cannot use this file to uploading purpose you just extract the excel file that's it here you can go to gstr1 e return and select the plain excel by clicking this button then you should get this message plain excel may not import directly in offline tool import in offline tool either use government template option or csv option because this file you can cannot upload it directly if you press yes select the destination path where you want to extract the file then if you press the okay button check the errors then you extract it this uh, is one single excel file not a separate excel file it's a one single excel excel file itself section wise data b2b b2c as b2cl hsn wise document wise everything you can get in single file you can try with your systems and there are some best solutions also given in the bs busy software related to gst point that is predefined gst masters busy can have different types of free predefined gst masters while we creating the company that those masters has been create that is something like sale type purchase type tax category everything these all are the predefined masters sale type masters similarly you can see the purchase type masters these all are the purchase type master and even you can see the tax category master ids category masters and you can see the tax category masters these all are the predefined masters no need to create those masters by our side and the next point is date wise gst rate and hsn codes so when we uh, entering some transactions uh, sometime the gst rate will be changed so that point of time you don't want to create separate items so within one item itself you can allocate two gst percentage based on the date and in, even hsn code also you can define two different hsn codes earlier some different hsn code and today onwards the department has changed some another hsn codes that you can allocate even the check party return filing status because 
uh, if you uh, wants to check the party gst return filing status so you can directly check with here so no need to ask anyone so all transacted party self or one party you can select and search so the utility will work like this either you can check check gstr1 or you can check gstr3b or you can check both if any party the gst return has not filed means it can comes in red color so this is the check party return filing status is also there next is automatic gstr1 2a to b 3b reconciliations that is also available in our gst miscellaneous utility side here you can download the gstr1 data or 2a data or 2b data 3b data directly from the portal and you can save it then after you can reconcile it if any invoice value is incorrect or if any invoices are missing in portal that you can easily identify that and you can proceed further so you can correct it and the next point here is uh, busy will have a monthly itc tagging as per as per the gstr 2a to b report so easily you can update the status whether the uh, the invoice has been claimed or not purchase invoice has been claimed or not so then after you can able to uh, get the report also itc claimed somebody claim register etc uh, whether the invoice has been claimed or pending or any ineligible means you should apply, apply the status of the um, itc similarly purchase invoice status you can check by using the f6 shortcut key when you looking some party ledger account or anything so that point that point of time if you press the f6 option uh, then the details detail of the uh, purchase invoices will be appear that is something like if you searching one party ledger any party you can select supplier uh, ledger then you if you press the f6 shortcut key this uh, screen will appear here you should able to know that 2a to b status claimed status gst transactions uh, gst related informations and everything and there are lots of uh, gst reports and reports are there gst related reports in our in, uh, display section gst reports in that gst registers if you needed some sales registers means you can select sale purchase supply outward in the sales register itself hsn code wise bill wise item wise different types of views are available and uh, simultaneously b2b b2c include uh, you can see uh, in one view or uh, if you can see, see it by separate view also the report will come like this it can show you the entire details like party name gst number sale type hsn code igst cgst sgst breakup and everything should be the sales register by hsn code wise similarly you can see the two way registers to be registers electronic cash and credit ledger itc claim summary gst audit report are there tax clause 44 common mistakes report party if anybody having wrong gstn number invalid tax rate if you applied in voucher reconcile the accounts with gst value so these all are the reports available okay we can use these reports as per your requirements in busy apart from this there are uh, the next point here is gst adjustment and payment entries by f4 key so if you if you wants to post some adjustment entry in busy you should use this gst summary report it's a screen report in the screen report itself you have a option of f4 if you pressing this f4 shortcut key the adjustment journal voucher has been posted automatically it is uh, input output adjustment uh, rcm uh, payment rcm regular adjustment or cross adjustment tds to output adjustment tcs to output adjustment regular gst payment etc so in this report itself you can able to know that what will be the input gst debit note credit note if any posted and output gst what will be the gst payable value everything will comes into the one single report rcm posting also done by one single click that uh, GST miscellaneous utility itself. If you are using RCM means you can post the RCM consolidate posting by one single link. That is by monthly or daily wise also you can post. These all are the uh, some other important uh, uh, features even uh, in the GST side. And uh, this is the certification where we received from the GST department side, Government of India Ministry of Finance side, uh, the BC Infotech Private Limited. And you can uh, see the message the central board of indirect taxes and customs conveys its appreciation to busy infotech private limited having gst registration number so and so for their prompt filing of returns and payment of goods and services uh, tax during the financial year 2324 this will be the certification we received in 2324 year and in busy infotech side our side we are doing our complete gstr1 filing and everything by the software our software itself and uh, 
similarly uh, the 2223 also that financial year also we are give, received this uh, certification the final uh, tagline of this webinar is if you are using busy accounting software you can transform your business with busy and uh, simplify your gst compliances with intuitive solution that is quick solution easy solution that easy utilities are given and even effortlessly manage your gst operations and sometimes uh, if, if you want to keep your gst filings error free with the advanced features and maximize accuracy with minimum efforts so this is all about uh, today's webinar class anybody have any questions related to gst returns or filings or any kind of errors anytime you can call to us our helpline number is given here 8282828282 and our support uh, mail id is support at the rate busy.in this number is available for 24 by 7 thank you so much for joining this today's webinar 